Hello there and welcome back yet again on our update 5 run. So in the previous one we have established a bit of a foundation for our colony and uh, although it looks a bit messy with the roads don't don't mind it too much it's just uh, we're trying to figure out where we're going with uh, different things here and uh, let's have a look okay so we've got a platform going in here now in this episode I think what we were trying to do is set up a bit of a system for our woodworks over here and then we wanted to progress a little further as well and uh, just secure our clean water source now we have a bit of science right now so if we check over here we need 120 so that is not enough and our beaver production seems to be okay i guess it's time to figure out what can we do with the food as well so let's have a quick look over here okay so in the ferment we can do fermented cassava soybeans and mushrooms now what we are growing is kohlrabis no cassavas. okay so we can use those ones here did we say soybeans okay so these two are good but where do we get the mushrooms from canola corn and eggplant so mushroom is not here hydroponic garden okay so that's producing mushrooms from water it seems quite a few hours and then something else as well not really sure what that is over here algae okay and then we have a food factory oh i do like how you can actually select things before unlocking them so you can kind of see how big they are and coffee brewery Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need some... Let's see, you needed gears and metal. Okay, you need metal as well. Just gears. Okay, yeah, food factory probably goes first. Uh, 69 points for the science. That's good. A couple of blanks and... Um, okay, let's try and boost our... Okay, homeless beavers first. Let, let's um, give you guys a home. If our roads are gonna go through here... Oh, wait a second. Some of those mods don't seem to be working. I'm pretty sure I installed the um, four-way down center and also that uh, tool that allows you to quickly copy different buildings. Um, yeah, that that's not come through for some reason. But anyways, that's fine. So let's focus on our... Oh, advanced breeding board. I don't want to miss this one before. One thousand science though fancy all right how much space do we have here we can do two road through and this one that looks perfect so why don't we yep place you right over there we have a campfire now speed it up just a little bit as well i mean it is normal world mode so we should be should be fine um oh yeah we can't do control and click anymore which is very unfortunate let's do a couple more of these guys uh breeding boards i mean I would really or very much so like to increase our population and because uh, I was let's put a few of you over here bring them all the way through the farm is a little further away yeah that's not a really good location now is it uh, not to worry we can have it in a slightly more centralized location like so and then I'm thinking somewhere here as well Alrighty, now storages are needed. You are holding berries, which, um, hmm, do they still consume? Oh, yeah, it is still berries. Okay. Well, that's fine. What I think drought approaching. Oh, wow, that's a very lovely looking notification here. So, in three days, we are gonna struggle a little bit. Do we have enough? Uh... Oh, dear. Okay. We don't have enough science points. Okay, three days. If we manage to construct one more, maybe two, even two more. Okay, highest priority. How many construction beavers do we have? Just one. You guys are homeless as well. We don't have a lot of logs. You cannot pause what you are doing right now. Because that is very important. Is there anything else we can pause? Uh, what we'll probably need... Dude, I suppose we could cut one down for a for a little bit. Okay, you're turned off. And I suppose we don't need those planks either because I think there is nowhere to store them right now. Alrighty, here we go. Get this built. Here we go. 
another one in the science and voila come on give us one more no that was so close okay as soon as the morning dawns on us we should be able to construct it over here right oh that's gonna be a bit annoying well hold on let's pause it for a second so we do want to contain this water and this might be the shortest oh dear yeah we can't construct it just yet we could do it from here as well but i do want to keep as much water as possible and from here we can still on walk off on top of it okay here we go get to work everyone we need just one science point please okay there we go yes unlock it oh that's really handy actually okay um the volume and the strength of this it's coming from two sides <laughs> okay i reckon if we do let's do four for the time being and then this one here now i don't think we have enough of yeah logs so right now we can't really construct anything yep that's out of out of bounds okay we'll take out this little bit over here fix it up and then we'll try and start constructing this dam and here we go the drought has started unfortunately i mean it was bound to happen we were able or oh, we weren't able to complete this section not quite uh, which means the water level is going to drop quite a bit uh, I just want to see how much this is going to hold. I don't think we're going to have anything in here, actually. Or are we? This seems to be starting to flow out from here as well, which is pretty pretty bad for us. Oh yeah, all of that's going to dry up. The drought is fortunately only two days long. So, I do have a feeling that we should be fine. Right, and everything here as well. They're running for food. Yeah, we've got some, uh, some water in the storage you can be paused probably let's uh, have a couple builders here i guess and then the next thing what i'd probably like to do is in the future we will put some floodgates in here allow enough water to fill this zone maybe dynamite it down a little bit as well and then yeah just keep it keep it sort of enclosed now what we could also do we could allow... Oh, that's flowing out from that way as well. Okay, yeah, if we get... Um, if we pop this one open here, then that could supply us with some juicy water as well. Okay, now power is going to be a problem. Not going to, it already is a problem. Uh, <laughs> large power wheel. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it is not what I think it is. That's what I think it is. But what is this thing then? Large power wheel. A beaver operated source of power. So is that like the iron teeth version of the the power wheel? I think it was called. So this is just a larger one. Okay, well, anyways. Pretty interesting thing. It does take a lot of logs though. And I feel like this is more suitable somewhere around here instead. Because that's where the factories are most likely going to be well okay we'll figure this out how are you guys going logs we've got these ones those ones <laughs> i mean we should be able to grow a lot of trees on the banks of this river but part of me also wants to yeah irrigate this zone as well so options that we do have but might mean we have to raise this whole area here is maybe a bit of a levee mi mission and then levees along the side of this to allow some water in here uh well we're not gonna have the beaver power nor the logs for this right now okay seems a few beavers have grown up let's just speed it up real quick we do need some jumps for them as well so where can you guys go? Lots of unhappy beavers, it seems. Probably want to start bringing some water into this zone. Oh dear. Zero water left, and they are thirsty. Okay. Um, <laughs> we can. Yeah. Alright, let's pop one over here. 
Take this too. That is uh, that is all fine. Okay, just uh, looks like the interface is a little bit different. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So halfway through, that's great. Uh, you guys are not gonna die anytime soon, are you? No, I hope not. But I believe we can uh, just suck some water out of this area here as well. The next thing we probably need is a bit of a storage unit. Oh, never mind. Yep, so this happened. Um, okay, right. I think that's how the roads are going to go in the future. In the front. And bit a couple of sake sakis here. Storage unit. And we should be good. Unless we do a bit more efficient system. But I don't think it matters. Oh, look at that. Trout ended. Cycle 2 begins. I do like this lovely... It makes it more obvious. You, you can't really miss it. I mean, with the sound effects, you couldn't really miss it before either, I think. Uh, you're halted. Well, yeah, that's because we don't have water, but it should be coming, not to worry. Right, so let's get a couple more things going. We have a bit of, bit of time left in this episode, so the next thing was power, wasn't it? Yep, we've got a one main road cutting through straight over there. I don't think we're chopping down those trees yet, are we? No, let's do it this way. Yep, you're gonna go over there. Can we please... Oh, you guys are... Ooh, okay. Unpause you. Okay, unpause you as well. And... Minus six, okay, minus ten over here. They'll be fine. Um, right, so the problem I'm noticing here, we are taking in some not so dirty water. I'm not sure if that's going to affect our beer. So for the time being, I th think it will be smarter to pause it until we figure out uh, what's going to happen. But then again, at the same time, the, the only way we're going to figure this out is by letting things happen, isn't it? Right. So, lots of unhappy beavers, but I think we're getting somewhere. Anyways, we've got the large power wheel. That's going to go right here. Then the gear workshop right next to it. And you guys are almost done, which is great. Oh, uh, hold on a second. This is... This is not good. No. Let's see what happens. Is it really going to flood this whole area? Oh, dear. What about... What's going to happen to the rest of the colony then? It's a lot of water that goes that way. I mean... What if we block it over here? Which way is this going to... Uh, maybe it's just because the drought just ended and they are all clashing over here. Could be part of a, the reason as well. Maybe. No? All right, I'm going to give it this some uh, some time. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've observed this uh, for a bit of a time now. And it does not seem to be going away, which is very, very unfortunate. I think the water flow is just so... So strong in here. Let me just remove all of them. So hopefully that's going to retreat a little bit quicker. Now, it does still mean we have to figure something out what to do with this enormous water flow in that corner. Alright, hopefully anytime soon now this is going to go back because we do need those trees not to die. There's uh, 9.2 days left which is fine but what is going on here? So water pumps might have to come here instead. Hmm... Okay, come on, get the last of our our logs. Hopefully we can still construct it. Oh no, you got broken teeth as well. Things are not going too well right now, are they? So you've done your job, which is great. We might have to shift a few woodcutters over to hopefully try and fix this situation. Alright, yeah, this isn't improving at all. Let's see if we take a few a few levies out. What happens now? It seems to be retreating a little bit. Okay, quite a bit. Well, here we go. 
think we've learned an important lesson here and we cannot tame this one just yet. Nothing to do in range. That's probably because we haven't highlighted any of those trees. Not to worry. Here you go. Now, three jumps that we cannot do. Let's pause one of them. You probably as well. And I do want to start blocking off this area. But now, hmm, I guess we are a bit anxious about what's going to happen over here. Yeah, you're still struggling here as well. Oh, wow. I guess some dynamite is needed. Gonna have to expand on this area and, oh, by the way, we have three underground ruins. They are all here, but unfortunately we have a bad water source that seems to be contaminating this whole area. And whilst I was observing the colony as well, I had a quick look at those well-being buildings here. And there's a de decontamination pod, which helps beavers recover from bad water exposure. So that tells me if you go into this water, I mean, you obviously don't want to drink it, but even if you get in touch with this, hmm, bad things happen, I guess. Oh yeah, that's not looking too good here either. I wonder what else is it? I'm pretty sure I read about it that you can actually harness some of its power or something. We can make some kind of extract. Uh, maybe it was with the advanced breeding bots. Needed nutrients, extract five. Oh yeah, maybe. Okay, now you guys should be able to get some water, right? Okay, this one here. Are we having water here as well? Yes, we are. Okay, lovely. I think we might survive. Well, we have survived. There is this kind of scary here. Trees are growing, 20% done. So on that end, I believe we should be fine. Uh, here's the planting as well. Dehydrated broken teeth. So, that's an easy fix. They can probably have a couple stations over here. I don't think we need to... Uh, it's okay. Let's leave two over there. These things are constructed as well, aren't they? Yep, we got logs going in. You guys are all thirsty. And where are you? Dehydrated. Well, clearly. You're just filling up. I was thinking some more. Yeah. This thing really messed us up over here. And it seems it's still starting to... Hmm. That is very sensitive here. Oh dear. Okay. Let, let's not build anything else in here. Um, I mean, if we're gonna struggle containing this, maybe it's just the levees. Not the levees. The floodgates that we do here. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, where do we go next? Do we have any flow going through here? No, we don't. Uh, I mean, we could rush over here, change it to... Could help, actually, yeah. Okay, now, how do we get here, though? If we go into stairs... Oh, we don't even have the ladders anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. Okay, I've got to investigate this after after this episode. But, um, okay, fine. I mean, we could run through it. Try and destroy it. But I kind of think we're going to climb up here as well, aren't we? Hmm, but we might not have... Oh, wow. Well. Right, so we are going to need planks. We don't have a lot of planks, which means we might not be able to construct this in here. Or oh, that one in here. Uh, okay. That's okay. We do like a bit of a challenge now, don't we? And let's just call it experiential learning at its finest. Uh, here we go. Some more trees over here as well. Okay. Pull some rows through for the future reference, I suppose. And then... We'll have some more water there as well. Need some more beavers. Why aren't you working? Water. Ooh, okay. Right. I see. You're running over because you're dehydrated. Hmm. Okay. 
highest priority for this construction site. I think we're not through the through it just yet. Yeah, we've wasted, I believe, like a couple of days already. Them trying to figure on figure out what to do and where to go. We'll have to delete one more just in case. It it seems like it's about to flood this whole area now. What I do want to do, it seems like a wonderful area where to put a water wheel. Now, I have a feeling this is going to flood the whole colony yet again. Um, but there's no flow in here, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, it's like nothing flows in here. I mean, if we get this built over here, maybe it's going to help us keep a bit more water and redirect it towards there. It's worth a try, I mean. Okay, let's do it. Highest priority. And then we should be able to get this done. High priority for you as well. Oh, wow. I mean, even this location here could host a few wheels. I mean, this looks amazing here, but... Yeah, that um, section here is very, very troublesome. Maybe it's just I have to stop the water coming from there, but yeah, it's... Wow. We've done nothing, but... Okay, it seems to be retreating now, or... Stabilizing. Right, some of the boards are up and running again, so that is great. Food is not the best. I have to fix this up as well. Do we have enough beavers? No, we did not. And the seven workstations seem to be waiting for beavers so we're gonna have to sort this out as well because uh things are a little bit problematic so two of you work in here yep we need to keep up the food water seems to be flowing through here now which is great okay one beaver over there maybe we have too many oh yeah those stations were the extra ones weren't they so we can stop two of you an extra water station. You can be paused as well. So that means still three jobs left. Let's put one in here. We do need those planks pretty desperately. And then we do need to store them somewhere as well. Uh, let's put a small storage right about here. Okay. You are going to hold. Oh, hold on a second. Right. Almost forgot that blanks can only go in these ones. Oh, yep, that's where we lost a few PVs. I don't think we need all of you. Pause you for a second. Just go and do something else. What is your problem? Broken teeth. Okay. Ah, let's get these built as well. Yeah, I've got to admit, this has really slowed down our progression, but it, it it's fun, you know? It's... uh. It's great to try and figure things out step by step and just a little bit at a time. But uh, it's also painful because I really want it to be progressed a lot more. The highest priority, we don't have the builders, okay. Let's focus on the growth first. We've got the water, we've got the food. Let's bring in some more beavers. So that, this means we shall... Two should be fine, right? Doubt we need more than that. If we can please harvest this section here as well, that would be lovely. I'd like to move the farm a little bit closer. Do want them to be right in the middle. Uh, everything else. You are producing nothing in here. You guys are doing stuff as well. And uh, as we said, water is pretty much full right now. So let's... Uh, Let's give it a couple more days. Let's see where we can get with this. Right, so there we go. The first dam is already up. The second one almost halfway through. And I think the third one will be up in no time as well. So what I was thinking in the meanwhile, whilst we are waiting for all of this to be done. Blueberries we have. Coffee. <laughs> I think it's a bit too early to do, but mangroves. So since they do give us... Oh, we need the forester here. Of course we do. So, um, maybe like, uh, yeah, little mangroves around somewhere here. Can you... 
Oh, you cannot... Right, maybe we do need to build another forest there. But this area might be suitable for... Well, yeah, a few, few mangroves. I mean, this would be lovely in here. I don't suppose we are putting a forest in this zone. This seems to be more reasonable. If the road comes through here as well, maybe just about here. Or here. No, this one seems better. Because we can pull the road through just like so. Then place a staircase like so. And then this could all be mangroves. Right? I do think so. We might need a couple of roads in the, in the beginning. So we shall leave a bit of space. Okay. You are a bit too far away. That's okay. Oh, delete rubble. That's a different button. So yeah, foodies dropping a little bit as well, which is not great. Uh, maybe we do need another station. Or maybe it's just taking a little bit longer to catch up with the damage. Uh, <laughs> we caused on on ourselves. Yeah, even if we place another farm. I mean, I guess we could pause a few science buildings right now since there's no other tasks that are a higher priority. <laughs> Let's do harvesting for, for the time being. Grab as much as you can. Hopefully they can reach this area here as well because I'd very much like to put the farm in there. And there we go. Second one's almost done. Lovely. Right, so another 2.7 days until our second drought, which is... They're gonna test us yet again. Now, now what we are planning to do is put a bit of a blockage over over here. So first we have to climb down and perhaps it's not the most efficient way how to do it. Yeah, we, we, we're still gonna do it. We're gonna put some levees on the ground and then a couple of double floodgates here as well. And then on the top we'll have a few times and hopefully this is gonna keep a bit of, of water in this zone. I mean, not sure if we're going to be able to construct it all in time. Probably not, but if we can at least to the base level, then I believe we should be fine. First, we have to climb down, so hopefully they can construct things a little bit quicker. But we shall see. There's only 2.5 days left. I mean, they're not too unhappy right now. Except a few... Maybe the could also use a slightly more direct route. So let's do it this way. Right, we've got loads of roads going throughout this place in here. You are still planting trees as well. I mean, the first ones are going to be grown up soon, aren't they? Only 40%? Well, halfway through. We're fine. We've still got some trees somewhere, don't we? Hmm, <laughs> So you boss, you are harvesting a few here. How about we switch you over? Let's have a look. This zone. Okay, there you go. You've got a ton of trees you can harvest right there. Now, everyone else, uh, speed you up a little bit. Okay, so a couple of levees in. I mean, top level matters a little bit less. If, if we could get the bottom levees in, that would already be half a win, wouldn't it? I mean, this makes me think we should have just done levies over here. Or maybe we need to cancel the floodgates. Yep, we have two days only left. Don't want to run out of all the, the water, so maybe something like so. Highest priority for the bottom ones. Okay, there we go. I believe we are constructing them already. Who knows? I mean, it took quite some time for this whole area to empty from water. So maybe, just maybe. Okay, problems over here. Water's not coming through. Uh, right, it's flowing through. We still haven't managed to go all the way there. But now, since we do have water, I mean planks... We should be able to cross here as well, but right now we can't really give them anything else to do until they manage 
taking this whole zone down. Right, a few more beavers have grown up, and right now, I think we are pretty desperate for some additional trees. So there you go. Let's uh, harvest this whole whole zone in here, and we'll probably have to grab, or I mean, get a little up and closer in this zone as well. So those platforms aren't ready. Let's place one over there. Hold on a second. That's fine. Maybe someone can construct it. No. Okay. Right. I think we are safe now. Oh, yeah. There we go. You guys are a little unhappy, but we can reduce your working hours again. And there we go. Now all they have to do is a couple of dams over there, but we shall survive. Uh, this zone and layer is going to be not done. Um, now the question is, do we put... Oh, no recipe selected. Um, no, we don't need anyone here. So, yeah, the question was, should we just do dams over here? Or... No, we really need those floodgates here. Place you just like so. And then, um, well, jump has started, so yeah, that water's flowing out now. Uh, it's too late to get it all constructed. We're gonna lose the top layer. You're still pumping. No more water. You can go. Um, well, yeah, at least we have a little bit of water. This means some of it stays nice and green. 2.7 days is not the worst. Three days we can survive pretty easily. And, oh yeah... That's no good. I guess our next project over here could be... Could be some floodgates, actually. Although some of the things did not work out really well, what we can do is... Let's climb down. A few ladders. Okay. And then we'll just try and build a... Build a few floodgates around this zone. So when the drought starts, we can... We can, like, close them up, right? Uh, there's still water flowing through, so that's fine. Yeah, so when the flood starts, uh, drought starts, we can close it up. And then during wet seasons, we'll open the, the gates yet again. But okay, let's cut the episode right here. It was uh, quite a tough one. Uh, learning about the, the flow over here and... Uh, I don't want to say that our colony almost died out, but I think we were fairly, fairly close, so... So yeah, that was a good and a fun lesson there. At least things are staying and remaining quite interesting. Now everything's pretty much dry right now as well. We do have to work on our water management and then uh, slowly try and push towards other developments in our colony as well. But okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.